If you look at my skin here, you can see it looks cakey and kind of muddy. And on this side, my skin looks more skin-like and natural. I'll be sharing some common powder foundation mistakes and how to correct them in order to achieve a comfortable skin-like powder foundation makeup look. So first, hydration is key when applying powder. Sometimes we tend to ignore the moisturizing process of applying makeup because maybe sometimes we feel like our skin doesn't need it. But moisturizer should be like a quench to your skin's thirst. You should always moisturize your skin even if you have oily skin because hydration can prevent your skin from producing too many oils Therefore making your makeup last longer without getting oily. I love using this ultra repair firming collagen cream by first aid beauty So the next you want to use a primer that suits your skin type So I like using this elf poreless putty primer So this primer is really good if you have pores and if you're using powder as well because it helps to protect the powder from settling in your pores so essentially it helps the powder not appear cakey on the skin. So I like to just focus this on the areas that I usually get pores, which is usually around this area, and just blend it out. So today's video is done in partnership with e.l.f. Cosmetics. You guys know we love e.l.f. Cosmetics on this channel. So I'll be using their new Camel Powder Foundation. This foundation is a primer infused foundation. It's long wearing. It's a buildable medium to full coverage powder foundation that comes in 30 shades. So these are the types of foundations that I love because essentially they're what gives your skin that skin like look without looking like too powdery and they also last a really long time a common powder foundation mistake is applying cream on top of the powder even though applying a cream concealer on top of powder foundation can work for some people it's not ideal for all skin types if you have normal to dry skin then you lack oils on the surface of the skin so applying cream on top of powder can cause a line of demarcation that can be really hard to blend out without the oils on the surface of the skin so instead of applying cream on top of powder it's ideal to apply the cream concealer first before applying the powder foundation that way your concealer will be blended before applying powder and you won't have that harsh line between the concealer and the powder foundation so there are many different brushes and tools that work for powder foundation however a common mistake is using a beauty sponge to pack on powder foundation or using the sponge that usually comes with with the powder foundation. Using these tools will only pack the powder on your skin. It's not gonna blend it out, causing your makeup to cake up over time and it won't allow your skin to breathe. So instead of using a sponge, you wanna use a brush to buff in the foundation. So there are two types of brushes that you can use depending on the coverage that you're looking for. If you want a light coverage look, you wanna opt for a fluffy brush. And if you want more of a full coverage look, then a dense brush would be ideal because it helps to pack on the pigment but you can still use the brush to really just buff in the powder foundation so the way you apply your powder foundation is what affects how the finish of the foundation shows up on your skin we tend to think that powder foundation usually looks cakey when you apply it but it's the way we apply it is what causes the cakiness if you swipe the foundation on the skin you create streaks on your face and that can even accentuate the texture of your skin also a mistake we tend to make is packing on the powder on the skin and this causes the foundation to just sit on the skin rather than look blended so instead of just swiping it or packing it on your skin you want to buff it in so buffing it in is just applying it in circular motion all over your skin so the powder will mix with the oils and moisture on the surface of the skin so that it looks like it's melting on your skin instead of just sitting on top of your skin so this will prevent it from being cakey it will give it like a creamy texture that will feel very comfortable on your skin and it won't look like powder is just sitting on your skin it's gonna look skin like so I like to build up the coverage with the powder foundation so I do about three layers for full coverage and two layers for a natural finish and with each layer I like to buff it on my skin for 60 seconds so you want to start by applying the powder foundation on your t-zone area as this area usually contains the most oils on the skin so that's at the center of the face around your under eyes and then blend it outwards towards your hairline then you want to buff it on your chin area and a little bit under your chin so as you can see this side looks Looks a little bit more skin like looks like I don't have any foundation on compared to this side where you can definitely see the powder it looks ashy and it definitely looks like I just packed the powder on my skin and this definitely makes my pores more prominent and more visible unlike liquid foundation powder foundation is usually not as visible on the skin which can make you apply way too much so one thing you want to avoid is picking up too much powder this can cause your skin to suffocate because there's too much product on your skin it makes the powder 
settle in the pores and it can even cause breakouts as you can see on this side of my face the powder is just sitting on top of my face and it definitely looks cakey my skin is not going to be breathing while I have this powder on my skin so instead you want to build up the product on your skin start by picking up a very small amount of powder dust off the excess and lightly buff it onto your skin and then pick up more product if you want to build up the coverage so this allows you to build up the pigment rather than just applying too much at once as you're buffing it for 60 seconds you're allowing the product to mix with the oils on your skin and it gives the powder more of a creamy look that looks like your skin so as you can see as you're building up the coverage your skin is still looking like skin it definitely feels comfortable this side definitely looks more subtle and more natural versus this side where it just looks muddy it looks cakey you can definitely see the foundation gets darker as you pack on more pigment so typically with powder foundation if you have oily skin you don't have to set your skin with setting spray but if you have dry skin then setting it with setting spray is going to make the powder feel comfortable on your skin so for setting spray I'm gonna use this elf hydrating coconut mist so this is a hydrating mist it has hyaluronic acid so it's going to help hydrate my skin so as you can see once you set it it really looks skin like plus this elf camel powder foundation is primer infused so it makes it last longer but you also have have to know how to apply liquid foundation that's why you can't ignore this video right here because in this video I go into the details on how to avoid cakey liquid foundation to get a skin like makeup look and also don't forget to check out elf cosmetics all the links will be in the description box down below a big thank you to elf cosmetics for sponsoring today's video KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's 